Hey guys, welcome to Kaku Kayak HQ here in Tarpon Springs, Florida. Beautiful, sunny, hotter than heck day. But uh, we're going to do a nice walkthrough on the Kaku Zulu. Uh, now we're looking at the Zulu as it will be for a base model, minus, of course, the attachments I've got here the rod holders and the dual power poles. Uh, so it will come like this as the hole with the chair and um, set up ready to go for paddling. I've spent the last couple weeks fishing off of this, uh, paddling and running a Torquedo motor. And then once I finish the hand controlled rudder, we've done some testing with uh, fishing it with the pedal. So it works for all of them. Uh, the cool thing about this kayak is, is it, it paddles good. I will not design anything that doesn't paddle good. So that was the first thing that I needed to figure out to make sure it paddles good and then does all the other things uh, really well as, as well. So. Um, tested it out really good, paddles great if you're looking for just a kayak that's uh, very good and very functional uh, for paddling, it, it's all in there for you. Um, when it comes for paddling, it'll just have a, it's got the opening here that would be for the pedal drives, but it'll be covered with starboard here. That still gives you plenty of options for mounting stuff. You can mount the starboard really well. And for you guys who like using your fish finders and need a spot for your transducer, you can just bolt your transducer in at the bottom of the starboard, and it'll still be in a nice little safe area so it won't get hit by rocks or logs or oysters, whatever you're going over. Uh, all the inserts will be in here for mounting the pedal drive. So if, if you are maybe want to uh, just get the kayak and then be able to step up to the pedal drive later on, it's a super easy install. I've made sure of that. Uh, moving to the front of the kayak, we've got a very aggressive bow up here. It's a nice uh, aggressive flared bow, so it's going to spray the water out when you're hitting boat wakes and hitting chop. It's going to cut through the water beautifully. It's going to keep you dry and make sure you can handle any kind of water situations you get into. It's got a roto-molded uh, hatch cover here, so it's flush mounted on here. Looks really good. It'll come matching the kayak color. Uh, a bungee closes it here, opens up for a good amount of in-hole storage. You got 18 inches of track up front, lots of camera mounting, rod holders, whatever you want to put in here. You got lots of room for that. You move back to the middle. You got 30 inches of track along here. That's for the uh, seat mount. So that gives you lots of room to maneuver the seat forward or backward wherever you need it. Um, whether you want a big open deck in front of you or you need to bring it further forward to reach the pedals when you got the pedal drive in, you got a lot of adjustability in there. For the handles on the side, we have put 12 inch tracks on here. So that gives you the ability to be able to mount other gear on here while you're out on the water, whether it be your paddle holders or your mount for your fish finder display. Uh, lots of different options there. And not to mention you still have all the 30 inch track that the chair is not mounted onto to be able to mount other stuff on there. You got 18 inches of track towards the rear for mounting your rod holders. As you see here, I got these Ram Mount Juniors mounted back here. Uh, you can put your cooler tie downs, all kinds of things you can put down here, more cam camera mounts. It's got five power pole mounts at the back. This one's mounted uh, the way I like it with dual power poles. You can put a single power pole in the middle. You can put your trolling, uh, trolling motor in the middle and then be able to mount a single power pole to the side of it, or you can do a trolling motor with two power poles. There's just so many things you can do with the Zulu. You got a big rectangle hatch back here. Uh, this allows for a lot of storage. Also, if you are going to motorize, you need a place to mount your battery. Your battery will fit in there real nicely. So the Zulu, we put a very deep keel on it back here. This will allow for uh, really good tracking. And um, uh, we put in a You'll see in the back, we've got rudder mounting for both the hand-controlled rudder for going with the pedal drive, or if you just like a hand-controlled rudder, I specifically made the hand-controlled rudder so you can be able to push around with your foot when you're standing on the chair. And then I have regular cable mounts for rudder, so if you did want to go with foot-controlled rudder, you still could. Uh, there's inserts on here, so the foot-controlled rudders or foot pegs can be mounted in here for those of you that really like doing that. You are sitting pretty high on the chair up here, so you're almost flat-footed on the deck, so there's not too much need for uh, foot braces unless you're going to do a rudder control. I actually found that when I was fishing it, I had uh, paddling it, I had the seat a little bit further back, and my feet were actually coming up against these ridges right here, so that was working really well for me. So uh, I don't see the need for foot braces unless you do a uh, foot-controlled rudder. 
Uh, but other than that, let's move into the pedal drive unit and show you what that looks like and, uh, and uh, show you how easy that is to install. Okay, now back to the Zulu with the pedal drive installed. So the pedal drive kit will come together with the pedal drive itself in this uh, aluminum mount here that's been powder coated white. This bolts right into inserts that are already in the hole, uh, right here at the base and up at the front wall. And you got these metal clamps that bolt it into place here. So it's easy removal, easy install. Your black starboard cover here has been cut now to make way for the pedal dryer to be mounted. It easily comes in and out with bungees. You remove the bungees. You can then swing up your pedal drive, set your pedal drive back down. That way when you get into shallow waters, it can swing up with no issues at all. Bungee your cover back in, and you're good to go. The hand control rudder kit. This is a simple rudder control. Push forward, pull backward to steer. This installs real easily too. This bolts right into the 30 inch tracks that the chair is mounted on. And then uh, when it comes to you, it'll have extra length on it. So you can adjust where you're going to have this steering based on where you have the chair. The chair moves forward and backward on the 30 inch tracks as well. So you get it set where you need it. And then you can adjust where the steer is at so you make sure it's in a comfortable position for you. All right, so now here's the rudder. Uh, we're using a Smart Track Flow rudder with a custom made part here to be able to hook our stainless steel rod to it. This installs super easily as well. You get this bracket, you just bolt it into inserts we've already got here, put your shaft of the rudder through, tighten it up, and you're in. The rudder uh, rod itself hooks really nice and easily as well. It's a little ball joint piece. You just slide this back, hook your ball joint in and it's ready to go. So that makes for it easily removable. This way, if you're using this kayak for pedal drive, it mounts on there super easy. You got a day you're gonna go out and you're doing something where you don't need the pedal drive, you can unhook everything, pull it off, and go paddle for the day.